Hey guys, happy Saturday. I was thinking about answering a couple questions we've been getting lately uh, on the comment section and just some random stuff. So we're hanging out this Saturday. Ruben just had his nap and he's a little bit fired up. We've got him finally seated for a minute here, but let's see if we can answer a couple questions for you. And we used to feed him twice a day. And what we've done, we've changed that uh, probably about a year ago because we found that uh, we're feeding him twice a day, uh, morning and evening, and then about three, four in the morning, Mr. Man here would sometimes wake us up with a horrible, horrible yakking sound, and he would vomit up a whole bunch of saliva and foam and all kinds of stuff. So he had an empty stomach, and I think that was, uh, uh, eh, he wouldn't feel too good, right, Carol? Right. Right. So uh, we now break up his food to three times a day, so we're doing the uh, the dry kibble in the in the morning. He's going to get his his, uh, his his patty in the uh, late afternoon, early evening, and then we give him about a half a cup of kibble, uh, right at nine thirty or so, sometime before bedtime. Uh, so that seems to work pretty well. And the good news is no more throwing up, which is never a fun thing around you know four in the morning. Sad. You listen to music? Ruben, you can't bear your bone under there. It's just going to sit on the top. But this is Ruben's bed. It's, I guess it's true bed because this has been this is in his crate. And the other side has got some some tears on it and a little bit of the material in the inside it has kind of flattened out a bit, but for whatever reason Washing it has shrunk it. Um, I don't know why, and so that there's a couple inches around the mat in his crate, crate now. So uh, that's why we are replacing that one with the new one, so that it fully fills the crate, so he can stretch out completely. So go figure. All right, we're introducing bed number 327 to Mr. Rubin. Let's see how he likes this one. This one is actually uh, orthopedic and it's got some memory foam and all kinds of other fancy stuff and it was on sale. But uh, you know, we're all pros at uh, buying beds and bringing them in. This is gonna go in his crate. Again, because the one in his crate shrunk down in the wash and something happened and it's got a tear in it. So there you go, Ruben. What do you think? I hope you are happy with this one, but this is going to go in your crate. Is it comfortable? Yes. Don't pee on it. I know you haven't done that since you were a, since you were a puppy, but you never know. It could be old habits dying hard.
Is it acceptable? Rue? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah? Wait, you don't have thumbs. All right. He seems pleased. <sighs> okay. There we go. <laughs> You're welcome, Ruben. Hey, guys. He's been... <laughs> He came back with a bone. Ruben, this is not a, a bed to uh, to put your bone in. This is one for you to sleep on in your crate. Where are you going, buddy? I'm so excited. Well, that if that's not a uh, a seal of approval. I don't know what is. Right, buddy? All right, so here's our Reuben scar update from, uh, from when he had his surgery to have that cyst removed. And as you can see, Reuben, let, let him see. Let me hold your head up. As you can see, scar is looking nice. The hair's coming back. So now, Reuben, it's just a story. It's just a story of where that, that mean old uh, schnauzer pulled a knife on you and... Uh, and you totally had to handle them. So all the ladies are going to love that tough story, but it's looking good, and you're ready for action again, right? Eh, maybe not. Why don't you rest and think of, think on that for a little bit, okay? All right. Fair enough. So, Ruben... People have been asking about you lately. They're saying, what about his weight? Is is Rue looking a little bit slimmer? Is he, uh, is he, is that a, I don't see too well. Is that a greyhound of sorts? Perhaps a whippet? No. Even though he's got this smooth, streamlined body, uh, he has not lost any weight. Oh, Ruben. no, don't eat the glasses. So Ruben went to the vet uh, this past week to get his, uh, get his nails did. And uh, while we had him there getting his nails done, he went ahead and was weighed. And he does, in fact, what, Reuben, what are you doing? Please sit still for the videos. Reuben weighs 66 pounds, which is what he weighed, uh, has, basically what he's weighed all the time. Reuben, what are you doing? Why will you not sit? I swear, heaven help me here. Every time you see this camera going and you hear me talking, you're on the move, so this makes it very difficult. I'm having to follow you through the house. So the answer to the question is, 66 pounds, He is. Uh, that seems to be his baseline. Very stable at that weight. And even with the uh, the addition of the new uh, crack patties, uh, he's it's working out well for him. So, Ruben, there you go. See, 66 pounds on the nose. Thanks for proving my point. <coughs> You want a bath? You do not want a bath. There's no way you want a bath. You never ask for a bath. Or you want to eat the shampoo bottle? Is this it? I don't know. Maybe it's time for a bath. Listen to your dog. Listen to what they're telling you. All right, Ruben. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we just will.